Last week, we closed the biggest deal of our lifetime, $91 million, four apartment complexes in four different cities. In this video, we're gonna show you the inner workings of four apartment buildings that we just sold for $91 million. All right, so we sold four buildings for 90 million bucks and they were all affordable housing. We already showed you a couple of them in previous videos. Now you're gonna see the two we didn't show. One of the buildings is in Lantana, which is about 40 miles away from where Vincent lives and works. We just arrived in Lantana, good old Lantana. You pull up to your property, so, you know, drive around. If you see different stuff as you're driving, then walking anyway. I'm sure the maintenance guy is keeping the property clean. Know where the maintenance guy is. Look, he's working, because I know he don't live there. Nice concrete block construction. And this is only half the property. The other half of the property, you gotta drive around the street. We bought this 96 units, 2000s construction. And this property is 100% full. There is no vacancy here. There's a waiting list of over 100 people. This place will never have a vacancy. You know, they owned it for about 20 years and then sold it to us. And now we've had it for about two years and he's in contract to sell it. Seriously, I can't stress enough how important it is to have the right people working for you, working with you. It makes a world of difference. This is our superstar. I don't know about that, Shit. but I work here. Michelle, in my eyes, you're my superstar. Oh, is that sweet? You know, she calls me every now you and then. You know that, I got uh -oh. the trash done. I see He's him. right there waiting. I see him. Like, oh, okay. he waiting for money or something? He is. Oh, I'll go give it to but him. But you said you were gonna pay him cash, so he's there right there. There it is, right there. Him. So pretty much what happens at every apartment complex, people come here and just dump shit in our dumpster area because they can get away with it. Look at this. They drop beds. I mean, it's clean now, but I'm sure a lot of this shit was in here. If I call this guy right now, he'll be back here with 10 fucking stoves for 200 bucks a piece. Hey, seriously. Some stuff, you can't fix any of that stuff. Like, if it's broken or something. Uh, this is Eric, our head engineer here. And he's been taking care of this property because if he wasn't, Michelle would have told us. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> he knows. I mean, oh, yeah. Welcome to the office. We redid this whole office, new flooring, new paint. If you were to take a survey here right now, mm -hmm. I will guarantee you, I would say at least 90% of the people that you interview mm -hmm. are happy here. Oh yeah. And the place is in contract and he's selling multiple apartment complexes in the same deal. So whatever we gotta do to make the deal go through, we gotta do it. Like, subscribe, cause hey. Ben Mal has got a big he surprise say coming. Hi. Happy birthday to me! Yep. Tell him, don't forget about everybody else's raise too. Oh my. <laughs> well, cause when he makes money, he starts handing out money. So hopefully, generous. the deal goes through. He I makes mean, money. I love you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Though. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. That's, I do. I wish I could say the same. What my dad would do, first thing he would do is, Michelle, what's the delinquency and like? I would go, Ben, read them and weep. But after yeah. the fifth, that's when those fucking three-day notices go out, five-day notice. I don't do too many. On the sixth, how much money is still owed to you? It's not a lot, 10 grand or less. 10 grand or less. Then by they the 10th, after you send those notices. They know, I'm on that phone. I guess they. Hey, what happened? Where's your money? Middle of the month, where are we at? Right, you You're usually zero by the 15th? I do. This right here is the nicest box in the world. This is my favorite box. I just love it. Look how sexy you are. You know why you're so sexy? Because this is where everybody puts their rent check in. So when Michelle's here, you know, nine to five, but after that, this box still working, baby. 175 to wash, 175 to dry. But uh, we work, no, we work with another company that pretty much pays us. You know, we do it from a card. They go, they pay, put your money in, load your card up with a bunch of money, and that's it, really. And we get a kickback from them, but they were already here before we got here, so contract was in place. Can't do shit about it, but back in the day, we used to have our own laundry machines, collect everything ourselves. Whenever you have an apartment building, 
You want to make sure you're making money on everything that you can. Make it a nice laundry room, good machines. People want to use them. Spend money there. You can have vending machines if you have space for enough tenants. But now we're talking 100 plus units. You can have storage space. I rented out empty spaces that I had and we converted them to storage spaces for the tenants. Some of your parking lot may have carports, some may not. You can put in some carports. People pay extra money to keep their car under a shade, especially in Florida. They'll pay an extra 100 bucks a month for that easy. have to have a maintenance shop on site. There's no other way. You need to do as much as you can in-house to save money, but there's to a point. Holy shit. I mean, I've seen this place worse, but it's still pretty rough. This looks better than it used to. You ever heard of the term opposites attract? <laughs> You're looking at it. Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Richard, uh, Michelle's husband. Johnson. Very well, that's Johnson. <laughs> he used to actually work for my dad for many years. And then I think he had so many infractions, he fucking not allowed to work for him no more. Why? He takes a maintenance car like Why? it's his fucking car. What? Drives it to the fucking store, drives it to the liquor store, drives it over here. How do you get groceries? Family. <laughs> well, I, you had too many infractions. I mean, I'm sorry, family or no family. <laughs> you get too many fucking infractions, this family, your ass is gone. So this property was built in two phases. They have this side of the property, which we just showed you, and then through this walkway, which is owned by us, this whole walkway, the other 50 units are on that side. So you got about 48 units over here and 50 units over there. The rent right here for a two bedroom, two bath, 2200 Our rents, because we're tax credit, is only 1400 You see the difference, why we're sold out all the time. Every time I come over this bridge, I remember the first day I came here, little Ben actually found this deal. Little Ben was like, oh, I'll go to Lantana and see how nice it is. So I come here, and as soon as I fucking hit this bridge, I said, you better fucking buy this place. I said, don't waste no time. To me, this is waterfront. This is waterfront. This leads to the uh, to the ocean. I could fucking put a boat ramp here if we really wanted to, but this is waterfront, tax credit, affordable housing. It doesn't get fucking better than this. This is a trophy property for Grant Cardone, Donald Trump, Ben Mala, this is it. But Ben Mala is selling it. Me and Ben Jr. went to go look at the Sanford property. To be honest, I was a little disappointed. I thought the place would look a lot better. Uh, this place is, you know, we're not, it's not the Taj Mahal and the fucking blinds. People, they destroy those fucking blinds. Who picked these colors? Yeah. We bought it like this. We yeah. never painted? No, we didn't we paint this stuff. place. What the fuck's on a cable box? Hard to watch a shot, weeds growing up in the playgrounds. This place is 10 times better than when we this bought it. This is the ugliest okay. page I've ever seen. What the I fuck is that? It. Wait, stop, what it is came that? like that. What, what is what? Blue tarps on the roof. I'm sure we're getting it fixed, Dad. What do you think, I'm not fixing it? I mean Manuel, como esta? What's up with that blue tarp on the roof there? We got a roof, is he aware of it? Who tarped it? I did. See, look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Manny, I appreciate it. Thank you. We gotta take care of it. Front entrance is place. <coughs> Can't at least clean the fucking parking spots here. It ain't the way I used to manage stuff. You damn right it ain't. It's all I shit. wouldn't have this in the front uh, as soon as I drove up. I don't up. even remember any landscaping like this on any property that you used to manage. Can you tell me what's the last property you managed? The point is. But no, just tell me what was the name of the last property you managed. Life's got a little too good for you, fat <laughs> boy. And you're slacking. That's the problem. You're trusting too many other people and pushing the weight off the other people. This is unacceptable. What's unacceptable? Man, he comes out to these properties and you want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. You pull up to the building and this is what you see. You know what it would take to just clean this one little spot up, two spots, three spots, something. I don't know, man. You're weeds. absolutely right. It didn't well, take, the fucking landscaper it takes is not a doing year. their job. It takes years for these weeds no, to come. No, it doesn't take no damn years in Florida. And you spray this it shit. Take two weeks. You spray it, it's gone. The weeds will be gone. Be there. Years. Years to grow weeds. It takes years to grow weeds. So this property is for sale right now. We took this one to the market a couple months ago. We have a buyer that is currently 
you know, under contract on it. And so we decided that we weren't going to paint this one. We were gonna paint it before we took it to market, but the market was so good right now that the broker told me that I didn't need to paint it. Let the next guy paint the, pick the colors, let them do what they wanted to do. Basically this place, we came in, we bought this 240 units. It's only 184 units. He doesn't even know how many units he has. He wishes it was 250 units. And we came in here, we did do some landscaping improvements, but those are not showing right now, but we did do some landscaping improvements. We fixed the pool. We came through, did a bunch of interior rehabs, fixed up the playground a little bit on this property. We did some new signage around the property. Pretty much this property didn't need a lot, but we just came through and fixed it. Little Ben is actually a partner in this place. Now, I always knew that he neglected the places that he wasn't a partner in. But this place looks neglected and he's a partner in it, so, you know, I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of things here I can see that need to be tightened up. So here we have a complex of 184, one, two, and three bedroom, affordable housing, and somebody needs to fix that balloon. Okay. Basically, we bought this property a few years ago and uh, it's been very good to us. It's been well. And uh, I need some uh, TLC, as I can see, because I haven't been here in quite some time. That's my fault. It looks like little Ben hasn't been here in some time either. Plus, since he's a partner, I think he's cheap on spending any money. Now, if it was my property altogether, he'd be spending money like he's going out of style. But his own, he doesn't want to spend any money. It's I want not... these weeds gone. The lady's want... pulling weeds right now. You better get a bit on these trees. The seeds are going to start falling all over the place. Yes, sir. So, you have a key to a vacancy? I do, 714. Where's 7 building? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, let's drive there. We're gonna take a look and see what an apartment looks like. We got a vacant unit. We really need to do some of that mildew there. It's just really bad. What are you gonna show us, Ben Jr.? A three bedroom, two bath. What are the bullet holes in the door? Where do you see bullet holes? Oh, dents. Yeah, they're dents. You wanna replace every door that has a dent? Well, Typical unit. Looks like they just put brand new carpet in it. When's it gonna be ready? Pet odor. Still didn't come up. When's somebody scheduled to move in here? In like a week, I think. So they're still working on this unit, putting it together. You know, it's a nice big three bedroom, two bath unit. Here's the master. Look at that. Vanity. Tub. Tile. Look at that tub there. I hope somebody's working on all this shit. This place ain't nowhere near ready. Good cleaning, little touch up. Yeah, it needs some final make ready. I mean, basically in this apartment, what we did, Dad, is we came in, we put in ceiling fans, and we we're gonna replace the blinds in every window. Um, New knob. And that's basically it. I mean, we came in and did a turn. All right, this is what a three bedroom, two bath looks like in Sanford, Florida, affordable housing. What's the current rent on this unit? About 1,200. That much, huh? For a three bedroom, yeah. Very good. A unit like this next door goes for 2800 2400 next door for a three bedroom. Can't just raise the rents to the market rent. We can only raise the rents based on what the state allows us to rent on. So this property is tax credit, so that means that you're only allowed to rent to someone who makes 50% or 60 of the AMI, which is the area's medium income. Lantana is a small town. I think the area medium income is like 60,000. If we're only allowed to rent to 50 percenters, then we can only rent to people who make 30,000 or less. But it depends on how many people live in the household. If you have one kid, you're allowed to make 35,000. If you have two kids, you're allowed to make 40,000. That's how they give you affordable housing. Developers, that's how they get tax benefits and credits to build affordable housing. So this is the cream of the crop right here. Hardworking families. This is our real American workforce. These people make 30 to 40,000 a year, which is a lot. I think I fucking make 30 or 40,000 a year minus my benefits. So there are strings attached to properties like this. Are you gonna make a fortune like the market rate properties? No, but if you run them right, you can make a good return on your investment and you can provide affordable housing to the community, okay? The rents are probably double next door. That's the way it is. But it's been a great property to us and it's a trophy asset in our portfolio. Melissa. This is your typical make ready board, okay? On this board, what we do is we put every apartment that is moved out, 
okay, or scheduled to move out. We have steps on things that need to be done. Okay, so once the person moves out, then we gotta change the locks. Okay, that's step number one. Then we do a trash out, that's step number two. Then we do painting, then we do a light cleaning. We don't do a full cleaning. Order of stuff that we typically do it in, clean should be way over here at the end, but we do repairs, make readies, resurface the countertops or the tubs, put either replace the carpet or clean the carpet, do pest control, then she expects it before they move in and then it's ready to go. So right now, the only unit that we have ready to go is 336. It's pretty much got everything done except for the final inspection, which Melissa will do before they move in. So we only got three vacancies on this property right now. 184 units with three vacancies, that puts us at like 98% or something like that. So we're doing really good. Any property that stays over 95% constantly is a really good property. There you go. That's how you do a make ready. That's how you get from go from move out to move in all on one board. I've owned properties where I've had six boards in my office, a thousand units. I had six boards in one office, a board here, a board here, a board here, a board here, a board here. Every building in that apartment complex had a board, thousand units. I had 35 people that worked for me in there. This is a good visual reference when you step into your building to know exactly what's going on. Okay, this tells you exactly. You can see the clear as day that this whole board should be filled with X's. And if it's missing X's, then we're missing work, okay? There's plenty of work to do here because this board's not filled with X's. 60 days, she only has two apartments that are not leased that are moving out in the next 60 days. That's because we're an affordable housing community. We have the best rent in the area and we provide a nice place to live in. Yes, it's not perfect. Maybe it needs a little power washing. Maybe it needs some weeds pulled and stuff like that. But you know what? It's a decent place, okay, at an affordable price. And that's what we provide. Now, we bought it at the right time. A few years ago, prices were very low. Now, prices went through the roof. So basically, the place could be worth as much as double what we paid. It's been a great property to us, and it's a trophy asset in our portfolio. This is the kind of real estate you want to grow into. There's a couple, almost a couple of hundred units here of great families paying rent, and this is real deal multifamily real estate. This is the kind of assets you want in your portfolio. You want to know the real deal? You want me to tell you the real deal? This is what happened. Me and Ben Jr. planned on selling one property, okay? But the broker comes back and says, hey, I got guys that'll take the whole portfolio down. So we thought about it, we looked at the numbers, and we made a decision for the right price, we'll sell. And guess what? They paid me the right price. And then they went down. It's the market. When they first made me the offer, it was a hundred million. Then, by the time we went through all the due diligence and interest rates doubled and the banks tightened their screws, they could only pay 90. Or to be exact, I think it was 91. That's what happened. I mean, I'm happy, yes, we did very well, and they will do well because we sold them a good product. It was affordable housing, that was the thing. You know, affordable housing is not like regular housing. You have a book of restrictions and rules you have to comply with. We're in contract, there's hard money down, yeah. the sale's going through, it so is. she's been through this many times, yeah. every time, uh, every yes. property you've ever been to. Yeah, I do it so. Time. You know, when he sells it, Michelle gets all her notes and all her stuff, packs it up, she's ready to go. They come here, they surprise her tomorrow, she's... Leaves them the keys, leaves them the, some passwords, and she's out of here. At the same time, she's still buying stoves, buying fridges, whatever we gotta do to keep this place running at top capacity, so. This is the latest rental increase that I put in to date. We have uh, 30 days to input it, and these are the increased rates that are current on our property. That's a one, that's a two, and that's a three bedroom. That's the price. And then the these up here are what we would call 50%. And these are the income limits, according to how many people, whether they're a child or an adult. We sold that portfolio, now we gotta go out and replace it. And if you wanna join us, we need 20,000 likes. I need everybody to subscribe and hit the bell button. This way you'll see the next video coming out. 
Adios, amigos.